And welcome to English Composition. I'm Michael Chang. I'm with Cher Chen today. 各位同学，大家好，欢迎来到英文作文课程。我是 Cher， 在我身边的是郑老师。And today we are working on the last unit of the semester, and we're going to practice all the sentence patterns that we learned during this semester by doing some sentence combining. 好，今天呢，我们要讲解的呢是本学期的最后一个章节。我们将要来复习一下本学期所教过的英文句型。哦，那我们会借由做一些这个句子的合并的方式呢，来练习这个部分。And we're also going to spend a bit of time reviewing the key points of all the things that we learned this semester. 好，那接下来我们还会花一点时间呢，来复习一下本学期所讲过的所有的写作重点。Right, so now to start off today,、uh, we're going to do a sentence combining exercise, and this is about an experience at a fast food restaurant. And so before we do that, we're going to watch a little bit of a video in which some of our friends talk about their ideas or their feelings about fast food. 好，今天呢，我们已经说过了、哦，我们会今天会透过这个用句子呃合并句子的练习啊、哦，这样的方式来帮各位同学进行复习。那我们在开始进行这样子的合并句子的练习之前呢，我们先来看一段短片。这段短片中呢，会提到我们待会儿做练习的一些内容。Hey guys, you know what? I saw it on TV that McDonald's going to have different prices in different places. For example, in the countryside, it will have lower price, and in the city, the price is going to rise. Really? Oh, but it doesn't really matter to me because、uh, I don't eat fast food very much, even though it's convenient and fast. the The reason is that、uh, most fast food is very unhealthy and、um, contains high calories. What about you, Teresa? Oh. It matters to me a lot. I like those fast food, especially those combos with hamburgers, French fries, onion rings, and better with the soft drink like Coke.、Mm. Especially when I'm in LA, I like to go to the In and Out hamburgers. Their hamburgers are just so amazing, and I also like the secret menu, like they will add the meat sauce with cheese on the top of the French fries. That was just amazing to me. Wow, if fast food are all that. Delicious. I may consider eating it more often because I usually don't eat fast food either. Although if I'm in a rush in the morning, I may grab a、um, like a cup of coffee or bagels from fast food chain store. But、uh, what、well, what about the high calories? They never freak you out. I don't think so. So you never gain weight by eating lots of fast food. Not to me. Okay. Well, I think I'll try to cut it off in the future, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we see some of the feelings of our friends about fast food. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to our writing model, and we have a lot of sentences that we're going to combine together about a fast food restaurant. 好，我们刚刚从那段影片中已经可以看到哦，这一段影片中呢，这三个人物呢就在讨论他们对于一些素食哦，所谓的 fast food， 他们的一些看法跟感觉。那接下来呢，我们要讲的这个写作范例就会来以这个素食的部分呢哦做一个练习。And so, for our writing model, we are going to combine some sentences sentences together, group by group, and then we're going to combine them together into an essay. 好，那我们接下来要做的方式呢，是把这些句子哦，以它这个呃目前以结合成一群一群的方式，把它合并成一句一句的句子，那再把它们组合起来，成为一篇完整的这个短文。All right, so let's take a look at our writing model now. 好，我们现在先来看一下写作范例。Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a group of sentences and we're going to start combining them together based on some of the suggestions in our book. 好，我们接下来要做的事情呢，哦，就是会先看一下这一一群一群的句子，然后呢，我们会把这些句子呢，哦，合并起来。Right, so let's start by looking at sentences one and two. So it says John walked into a restaurant. The restaurant sold fast food. 好，我们看到呢，这里荧幕上有出现两个句子哦，他们把它合并成一个群组哦。这两个句子呢，第一个说到的是 John 走进一间餐厅，第二个句子说这个餐厅卖的是素食。All right, and so in the writing analysis section on page 239 of your textbook, it suggests that we modify restaurant with an adjective. 好，在这个课本第两百三十九页的部分呢，我们可以看到，在写作范例的地方，这地方哦，在题目上面是建议我们利用形容词来描述这个餐厅。All、right, and so if we look at the the sentences here, we see that restaurant is repeated in both sentences. And so when we combine our two sentences sentences together, we can cut out one of these mentions of the word restaurant. 
。好，我们可以发现呢，这两个句子里面刚好都有一个字是重复的，也就是 restaurant 餐厅这个字。那如果我们要把这两个句子合并的话，那当然这个句这两呃这个字呢，我们就可以去做一个合并的点，然后去把它删除。And one way we can do this is to modify restaurant with an adjective, and so we can take the noun fast food and use it like an adjective. 好，那我们这里的做法呢，就是把这个呃餐厅保留。那我们接下来呢，在它前面加上一个形容词。这里呢，我们可以把 fast food 这个名词转换成形容词使用，加在餐厅 restaurant 的前面。And so then, this is the sentence that we get. John walked into a fast food restaurant. Oh, 那因此呢，我们就得到了这个句子。John 走进一间呃一间素食餐厅。All right. If we look at our next group of sentences, we have three sentences here. 好，接下来我们可以看到这一组的句子呢，总共有三个句子。All right. And so what we are, what it's suggested that we do is we modify the word meal with an adjective, and then we make an adverb clause that shows time. 好，那在这个部分呢，课本上建议我们的做法是用形容词来描写食物，然后使用副词子句来表现时间。And you can see that the word meal is repeated in all three of these sentences, and so we can use an adjective before. So we can use quick as an adjective before meal. We can take the word quick from the second sentence, make it into an adjective. 好，我们可以发现呢，在这三个句子里面 ，meal 这个字哦，它重复了三遍哦。那因此呢，一样，我们使用这个 meal 来做一个呃连接的接点。那在这前面呢，我们使用 quick 哦，在第二个句子 quick 这里哦，有一个形容词是 quick。那我们把它拿到前头来去描述 meal 这个字。And then we can add on part of sentence five as an adverb clause. 好，我们可以把这个部分呢，哦，加到这个句子五之前哦，当做一个副词子句。And this gives us this sentence. He wanted a quick meal before he caught his train. 好，那我们接下来得到这样一个句子哦，他想去搭火车前先吃顿快餐。Alright, so let's go on to our next set of sentences. We have two sentences here, and we can combine these sentences with the previous set of sentences, and we can use these sentences here to show a reason why John is catching the train. 好，那接下来呢，我们可以看到一样是两个句子当做一个群组哦。那这两个句子呢，应该要能够去与上前前面已经做好的句子做一个连接。那在这个地方，我们提出来的建议是，请用以上任何一种方式合并句子，然后呢，能够显示上一个句子的原因。All right, and so what we can do is we can connect the sentences with a word that shows reason, like because or since. And so let's just use since in our sentence, and this gives us this sentence here. He wanted a quick meal before he caught his train, since he was going to take a long trip to Gaoshong. 好，我们接下来呢，既然他要求我们是用原因的方式去做合并哦，那我们可以使用这个连接词，像是 because 或者是 since。好，那在这个地方，我们选择先使用 since 来当做连接点。那我们会得到现在刚刚同学在屏幕上看到这个句子，因为他要长途旅行到高雄去，所以他想在去搭火车前先吃顿快餐。All right. So so far, we've taken a look at a lot of sentences. Let's do one more set, and uh, we have four sentences over here, and we want to show some kind of contrast of ideas in these sentences. 好，那接下来呢，我们再做一组练习哦。你可以看到这四个句子在一起。那他要求的建议是，请你显示这些句子的对比的意义。好，那我们可以来看一下怎么样去使用。And so we can see the first two sentences, eight and nine, show some kind of a negative situation, and because nobody wants to wait in line for a long time. However, sentences ten and eleven show a positive situation. 好，我们会发现呢，这四个句子里面呢、哦，句子八跟句子九，它呈现的是比较负面的情况，因为没有人会喜欢待在这个长长的队伍排队排很久哦，尤其是当他们还是个很匆忙的状况。那当然，句子十跟十一的时候呢，就呈现了一种比较正面的情形了。And so we can show a contrast between the ideas in the first pair and the second pair of sentences by writing this. The line at the restaurant was long, but luckily it moved very fast. 啊，那也因此呢，如果我们要显示这四个句子之间的对比意义的话，我们可以把它变成前与后这样的对比方式。那各位同学可以看到这个句子哦，也就是。餐厅中排队的队伍很长，但是很幸运的，队伍移动的很快。
And we can also show a contrast to the previous group of sentences because John is in a hurry and the line is very long. And so we want to show a relationship with these sentences we just created with the previous sentence so we can use the word unfortunately at the beginning of the sentences that we have here. 好，如果我们要把这个句子跟前面的句子呢做一个连接的话，我们在这里呢可以去显示哦，再一次去显示它对比的意义。哦，那我们现在各位同学可以看到哦，它加上了 unfortunately 哦这个字呢来当做连接。All、right, and so then here's our final sentence. Unfortunately, the line at the restaurant was very long, but luckily it moves very fast. 好，那它的方式呢会显现像这样子。不幸的，这个餐厅里排队的队伍非常长，但是幸运的是，队伍移动的也非常快。All right, so we've done a lot of sentence combining so far. We're going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back and combine some more sentences. 好，我们现在呢，先休息一下。待会回来，我们会继续进行这个句子合并的练习。All right, welcome back from the break. And in order to move a little bit quicker for the rest of this section, Dr. Chen is going to com,、uh, explain the sentence combining just in Chinese. 好，那欢迎各位同学回来。接下来的部分呢，哦，为了时间的问题哦，让我来代替郑老师来帮各位同学做一个快速的讲解。那我们首先呢，先继续来看到哦，接下来第十二、十三、十四句哦，是一个群组。那在课本上呢，它的建议是要表现出时间上的连接，还有理由之间的连接。那这部分呢，我们可以看到哦，它它的主要的 i 呃主要的 idea 呢是在讲到说他很 nervous 这一件事情哦。那这部分呢，哦你要表达出时间连接的话呢，我们还可以再加入所谓的时间连接词。那因此我们可以先得到这样子的一个连接方式。John got more and more nervous as he waited. 哦，在等待的过程中 ，John 越来越紧张。哦，那如果我们要把这个句子呢，跟这个前呃，跟第十四句做连接的话，我们可以把它连接成更长的句子，像是这样子的。John got more and more nervous as he waited because his train was going to leave in ten minutes. 好，我们可以看到呢，如果连接在一起之后，会得到这样的句子。等待过程中 ，John 越来越紧张，因为他的火车在十分钟后就要离开了。好，接下来下一组是十五、十六、十七句。哦、这三个句子呢？哦，他提到说，呃，这三个句子其实有很多不一样、有趣的方式可以做一个连接哦。那首先，我们先以一其中一种方式来做一个连接。Finally, there was only one more person ahead of John, a very skinny man, but he had a very big appetite. 好，终于只剩下一个人排在 John 的前方了。这个人非常瘦，但是胃口非常大。哦，你可以发现，在这样子的一个连接方式之中呢，我们在句首加上了 finally 这样一个副词，哦，来表达说，哦，这是最后一个人了。哦，那同时呢，我们也在这个句子的连接的地方加上了 a very skinny man， 哦，在这个句子的最后方，哦，它的作用呢，就会像是这个句子的结论一样，哦，那它可以表达出一个呃非常强烈的这个强调的意思。好，那。也就是为什么我们在这里会有一个 very skinny man， 哦，这个没呃 stand ahead。好，那接下来呢？我们说这个是呃让人很瘦这件事情哦。对这个句子啊，如果我们只是单纯这样写，可能没有办法形成一种很强烈的影响哦。那它读起来呢，就没有办法让人感受到你对这个人很瘦这件事哦有什么样的重视。那也因此呢，我们得换了另外一个方式来做连接。But he had a very big appetite. 好，我们这时候我们把它改成用 but 哦去做连接哦。那如果用 but 的话呢，我们就可以强调。更有制造出一种很有呃这个呃戏剧性的效果哦，那也就会让这个人很瘦这个事情呢变得更突出一点。那他 but 的用法呢，也可以显示出对比的意思。好，接下来我们看下一组句子哦，这一组句子很长哦，总共有六个小句子要做一个连接。那这课本上提供的建议是使用连接词，使句子成串的连接。好，那为了要做这样呢，我们可以呃把这个有一个重复的字哦，也就是 he ordered it 哦，这个部分呢全部集结成单纯的一个哦。那我们其他的字呢就连接在 he ordered it 后面。那我们得到了像这样的句子。He ordered two sandwiches, a large orange juice, pancakes and sausages, a large coffee, and a bagel with cream cheese. 他点了两个三明治，一杯大杯柳橙汁、松饼及香肠、大杯咖啡，以及一个涂了呃乳酪酱的贝果
。好，我们可以发现呢，在这个句子里面呢，哦，有一个比较特别的是 pancake and sausage， 松饼及香肠，这两个呢是用一个 and 做一个连接啊、哦，然后放在两个逗号的中间。那这是因为呢 ，pancake and sausage 它是一组的哦，它对一份点餐来讲，它是同一份餐点哦。那在这个时候呢，哦，因为它并不是分开的两份不一样餐点，所以我们把它当做一份，当做一个名词放在两个形容呃两个逗号的中间。好，接下来我们来看呃二十四及二十五这一组句子。好，那课本要求的呢是请我们使用对比的意义来连接这两个句子哦。那这时候我们使用了一个逗号哦，把这两个句子中间连起来，那再加上最能够表现出对比意义的连接词，也就是 but。好，我们得到现在这样的一个句子。It was John's turn to order right now, but there was no food ready. 好，现在轮到 John 点餐了，但是食物都还没准备好。接下来二十六节二十七句啊，他、哦、要求呃课本上提出的要求呢，是请使用连接词来表达额外的资讯啊、哦，把句子连接起来。好，那我们可以发现二十六跟二十七句它非常相似哦，它提到了两个很相似的概念，一个是紧张 nervous， 另外一个是 agitated 哦，就是很激动的哦。那因此呢，我们要把它连在一起的时候，我们就使用 and 哦这个连接词哦来连接这个呃额外的资讯。那我们得到这样的句子。He was very nervous and agitated now. 他非常紧张，而且很激动。好，接下来我们可以看到的二十八节二十九句。哦，那这部分呢，课本上请我们用对比的方式哦，去显示和上一句之间不一样的对比意义，同时也要显示出原因。好，那我们可以发现二十八节二十九句呢，跟前面二六二及二十七非常不一样哦。那二十八节二十九表现出来是很正面的意义，跟上前两句。这个紧张啊、激动啊，比较负面的意义是不一样的。那因此呢，为了要表示出他们的对比，这个时候呢，哦，我们就是用 but， 哦，这个连接词来显示出对比。然后呢，我们再加上另外一个连接词来表示理由。我们得到了这个句子。But he was fortunate because the food was ready in only one minute. 但是他很幸运，因为食物仅用了一分钟就准备好了。好，接下来我们可以看到三十及三十一句。这个部分呢，哦，课本上的要求是，请使用三十及三十一去显示出额外的资讯，同时呢，也尝试着去显示出这些事件的时间点。哦，那为了显示时间点呢，我们在这两个句子中间加上的 then 这个介呃这个连接词，然后呢，在 then 之前呢，加上了一个连接词 and， 我们得到这样的句子。John paid for his order and then he dashed out of the restaurant. John 付了钱，然后冲出餐厅。接下来我们可以看到这个群组有四个句子，哦，三二到三十五，哦，这四个句子呢，课本上的要求是利用连接句子的方式表现出原因。好，那在这个地方呢，我们要表现出来的是因果关系，哦，就是原因跟结果之间的一个连接。哦，那首先我们先把句子三十三变成所谓的名词子句。好，就接下来呢，我们可以看到的是，哦、我们这个有一个呃，就在句子三十二里面有一个 something 哦，这一个名词，我们利用 something 来当做被取呃，当做被取代的一个名词哦，那利用三十三来加在它后面去做解释，因此我们得到这样的方式。John knew that he was going to be very late. 好 ，John 知道他要迟到了。好，那接下来呢？这个句子呢，也就是它的原因了。哦，那我们接下来要加上理由。哦，那我们来把这个句子完成。John knew that he was going to be very late, so he ran to the train station as fast as he could. 好 ，John 知道他要迟到了，所以呢，他用他所能达到最快的速度跑向火车站。好，接下来我们看到下一组句子，三十六到三十八。课本上希望我们用这三呃这三个句子啊、哦、去显示它的时间关系。好，那我们可以在这地方呢，我们把句子三十八哦，加上一个介系词子句的方式，我们得到了这样子的一个连接。When he got to the platform, he saw the conductor telling everyone to get on board. 当他到达月台时，他看见车长正在叫大家赶紧上车。好，接下来三十九到四十一哦，我们要利用连接句子的方式呢，来表达出时间。好，那在这个部分呢，我们可以看一下，先把三十九跟四十这两个句子做一个连接哦。那接下来呢，我们再加把它变成一个副词子句哦，去连接上去。好，那我们接下来就会得到这样的一个句子。He ran faster and got on the train just before the conductor closed the doors. 好，他在车长关上门之前，很快的冲上了火车。
。好，接下来的群组四十二到四十五哦，你可以使这些句子连接成一连串的事件。那我们得到这样的结果 ：John found his seat, sat down, and ate his delicious breakfast. John 找到了座位，坐下来，开始吃他美味的早餐。好，那这样子，我们把所有的句子终于完成了。那因此呢，我们就可以看到一个完整的哦一个写作范例的连接了。那这部分呢，我们留给各位同学自己好好的再去回头去好好品味一下你合并之后的句子。All right, we will be back with more English composition in a moment after we take a break. 好，我们现在先休息一下，待会回来之后，我们会再继续为各位同学做讲解。Welcome back. We're going to use the remaining time that we have to review some of the key tips for writing that we learned during the semester. 好，欢迎各位同学回来。接下来呢，我们会利用剩下来的时间呢，为各位同学稍微复习一下这个学期之中我们提到的一些关于写作的技巧。Now the first key idea is to do some pre-writing before you start writing. So don't feel like you can sit down and you have to write a beautiful, complete, and perfect essay all in one shot without any pauses. Because believing that you have to write perfectly as soon as you sit down will only make you feel frustrated. 好，我们提到的第一个重点呢，就是呢，在开始写作之前，请各位同学务必要进行所谓的写作前置作业哦。千万不要以为你只要坐下来就可以毫不停顿地写出一篇完整且美妙的作文哦。这样的想法呢，只会让你真正开始写作的时候觉得非常的挫折。So instead, what you should do is take your essay writing in small steps. 好，那实际上呢，各位同学应该要写作的方式是一步一步的照着步骤来写作你的文章。And so start by thinking about who you're writing to and why you're writing to them. So you can think about your audience. Who is going to read what you write? What do they know already? What do they need to know in your essay? And once you know the answers to these questions, you can decide on the goal for your essay. 好，首先呢，各位同学应该要先想一下，你是为谁写作这篇文章，还有你为什么要写作这样子的一篇短文。哦，那这当然就是一开始你要先想一想，你的读者会是谁？哦，那谁可能会去读你这篇文章呢？哦，那关于你要描写的这个主题，你的读者可能已经知道了什么，或者是有什么是他们还不了解的？哦，一旦你知道了这个答案，你就可以开始决定你写作的目的了。All right. So now, for the goal of your essay, think of what you want to achieve for your writing. So, for example, your goal could be to get a friend to join a dinner and then to accompany you to a show, or else you might want to give some information, such as the itinerary for a trip to Taiwan to a client, and then find out if that itinerary is acceptable. Or maybe you just want to share your happy vacation experience with your with your friend. 好，在决定你的写作目的这方面呢，你要想一想，你希望达成的目的是什么？那你可能会希望达成的目的呢，包括了像找个朋友一起晚餐，然后决定一起去看表演，或者是呢，你希望提供你的客户一些访台的资讯，然后跟他确认一下你这样的安排是否可行。那当然也有可能呢，你是希望跟朋友稍微分享一下你去度过的愉快的旅程了。Now, once you've decided on your goal, you need to think about what to include in the content of your letter. 好，那一旦呢，你已经决定好你的写作目的之后，你就可以开始思考有哪些内容是需要写进你的信件当中。Right, you can start by brainstorming, and so just write down any ideas that you have on a piece of paper, and then you can expand these ideas by adding thoughts that are that are linked to the original idea, and so this will result in the creation of a word web or a brainstorm web. 好，那首先呢，可以先透过脑力激荡的方式作为开始哦。那接下来把你想到的所有的关于这个主题，你想要写进去的一些想法都写下来。然后呢，接下来呢，就从你这个想到的想法之中呢，去加入更多其他不一样的想法，能够连接到你原始最初的一个初衷哦。那这呢，就会造成了我们经常提到的脑力激荡网络。All right. So the next thing that you want to do is take some time to organize the ideas that you had in your word web. Or another thing that you might do is you could even take a break at this time,、um, and so then you can go to the internet, you can read something about the ideas in your word web, or you can chat with friends about your idea. And then finally, your internet searches and your conversations can give you some more ideas of what to put or to add to this word web. 好，那在你脑力激荡完之后呢，你接下来要开始去整理或是去架构这个脑力激荡网络
。那这个部分呢，有几个方式哦。那你可能呢是可以先休息一下，然后呢去上个网查查资料哦，或者是跟你的朋友聊聊天，谈谈你的想法哦。借由这些查询资料、谈天说地的这个过程呢，也许就可以帮助你获得更多的想法，然后可以去扩张你的这个网络。All right. So now, after you have many ideas, you can begin to organize them or organize what you're going to write by making an outline. 好，那当你有很多的想法之后呢，接下来你就可以好好再去整理一下你刚刚的想法，然后呢，开始写出你的写作大纲。All、right, and you can start your outline by writing a topic sentence for your paragraph or your essay, and your topic sentence will have a topic and a controlling idea about that topic. 好，那当然，你的大纲的一开始哦，你就要写出你的主题句了。嗯，主题句里面呢，当然要包含我们提过的两个非常重要的重点，一个是主题，另外一个是你的主轴论点。And so, for example, if even if you have some topic that's very simple, like what your day at work was like, you can still have a controlling idea by explaining if you had a good day or a bad day. 好，我们举例来讲呢，即使你的主题哦是一个非常非常单纯的主题，像是说哦我的一天哦这样单纯的主题，一样你也可以加入一些所谓的主轴论点。你可以说这是一个好的一天，或是坏的一天。All right, now after you finish your topic sentence, write down some ideas that you can use to support your ideas, and you can make supporting ideas much stronger by adding some clear and specific details. And for example, in Unit Six, we talked about using adjectives to provide sensory details about coffee. 好，那当你在你完成你的这个主题句之后呢，你可以开始写下一些其他的想法来当做支持句，去支持你刚刚提出来的主题句。那这个部分呢，哦，你可以透过增加一些非常明确、清楚的细节的方式，哦，来帮助你达成。那各位同学，如果还记得这个单元第六的话呢，我们曾经讲到过，你可以利用形容词的方式去提供一些，哦，我们说这个感官上面的一些细节。And so. To summarize this point, you can make your writing process easier if you take the time to brainstorm as many ideas as you can, and then you take the time to understand what your audience needs to hear, and then you prepare an outline with specific details about the items that you want to put into your essay. 好，那这个部分呢，我们帮各位同学做个总结哦，也就是呢，一开始你要先花点时间做个脑力激荡哦，想出更多的想法。接下来呢，花点时间去了解一下你的读者希望知道的是什么。然后呢，开始准备好你的写作大纲哦。然后大纲之中呢，也包含了一些细节。那这些细节呢，都是你可以放入你最后的文章之中的。All、right. The second key tip that we have is to read your essay again after you finish it, and then rewrite it to fix any mistakes. 好，接下来第二个部分呢，各位同学一定要记得做到的是，当你写完之后，你一定要再回头再读一遍，然后呢，去把里面的一些错误都把它解决。And so, one thing that you can do as you're rereading it is to look for something like unity. And unity means that all the ideas in the essay are focused on the same topic. 好，那这部分同学要做到第一件事呢，就是去看看你有没有维持文章的一致性。哦、oh, ，unity 这个题目呢，哦、oh, ，这个字呢，也就是一致性的意思。And we learned about unity in Unit 13 this semester. 好 ，unity 这部分，各位同学如果不记得的话，可以回头去看一下单元第十三。哦，我们在这地方有讲解了。And the next thing you want to do as you're writing is to eliminate grammatical mistakes. And so stick to simpler sentences. Don't try to write all your ideas into one long sentence. 好，那接下来我们要讲到的呢，就是请各位同学务必呢要把所谓文法的错误作为一个的呃移除。哦，那这部分呢，请各位同学不要写太长的句子，写短的句子，然后写的正确。And so, what you can do is you can write shorter sentences. After you have short, clear sentences, you can combine them together into longer sentences. 啊，那这部分呢，当然不是鼓励同学只写短的句子啦。哦，那各位同学可以利用我们这个单元的练习，在写完短的句子之后，把它连接起来，变成较长的句子。All right. Another thing, or the final thing that we want to talk about, is coherence. And coherence is having how the ideas in your essay connect together. 好，那下一个我们需要注意的地方呢，是文章是否具有连贯性。连贯性指的就是你文章中所提到的这些想法，是不是前后都有做一个逻辑性的连接。And so if you look at the screen now, you can see some examples of words that we use to mark and improve the coherence in this essay. 各位同学，如果可以看一下的话，你会发现哦，在这上面哦有特别标注的部分，也就是我们使用来标注连贯性的部分。All right. Thanks for joining us this semester. We really enjoyed teaching you, and we look forward to teaching you again next semester. 谢谢各位同学这个学期的参与。我们感谢各位同学的参与哦。我们下个学期呢，希望跟各位同学继续再见。